Question. And, and, and so you look at 18 Republican senators who voted for this bill. They could have done just a, a CR, a continuing resolution, a continued spending for, you know, a, a month or, you know, six weeks until you guys took over control of the House and you could have had your own Republican bill. They chose not to do that. Have you asked any Republican senator, one from Texas yourself, um, why they would have done this to Republicans who are about to take over control of the U.S. House? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sure. I've asked a number of them, and, and the answers are pretty pathetic, to be honest with you, from all of them. What are they saying? There is no excuse for voting this bill. Well, what they tell you is, well, this is the best we were going to get, Chip. And you know what they mean sure. by that? It's not our debate about the speaker's race. What they actually mean by that is you guys would have fought us over the spending levels on the That's military right. spending and on Ukraine. This was all about Ukraine money and defense spending, which, by the way, I'm sure you will agree with me. I'm all for getting the proper resources to our defense and to our men and women in uniform and having guns and planes and bullets and training to kill people and blow things up. What I'm not for is a social engineering experiment wrapped in a uniform. And what I'm not for is a blank check to Ukraine. What I'm not for is using that as an excuse to pile on more debt and not do the hard work of forcing a conversation about what we're spending. Those senators are hiding behind national defense to spend money we don't have, weaken our border, and undermine a Republican majority that wants to try to do it the right way. And there is no excuse for it. And zero. And I'll debate any one of them anywhere they want to do it.